could you please uh, draw me the structure of saxomethonium? I don't know how you'll be able to see that here, but I would first of all... You could describe it if you like that, as well. But I could say saxomethonium, it's um, um, a neuromuscular blocking drug which is classified as um, um, depolarizing neuromuscular blocking drug or non-competitive. And structurally, it um, is made up of two acetylcholine molecules um, joined um, together. Um, um, yeah, I would have difficulty in drawing that structure and showing to you here, but two acetylcholine okay. molecules joined together, depolarizing agent or non-competitive neuromuscular um, and blocking agent. Okay, so how does saxomethonium act? But so it. Um, acts, like I said, it's depolarizing or non-competitive, so it doesn't compete for the receptor at the binding site in the neuromuscular junction or at the um, 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 cleft uh, such. Um, it goes and then on a separate part, different from where the receptor is acting, um, inhibits the acetylcholine molecules and prevents nerve transmission and some form of, which is evidenced as paralysis. Because it's depolarizing, it causes um, articulations and, and muscle twitching, which mm. has um, effects on the body. So you just mentioned that it causes uh, quite significant muscle twitching. Can you tell me some, some more about that and some of the side effects other than that of saxomethonium? Right, so um, because of this depolarizing effect, which we describe as articulations, it can, um, increase um, 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 potassium levels because um, there'll be breakdown um, um, due to, um, 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 there'll be breakdown of muscles which could increase potassium levels and could cause significant effects if elevated potassium levels are found in the body, leading to hyperkalemia with its own effects that um, can be seen, which can also cause bradycardia um, as part of the um, side effects of saxomethonium and it does increase the pressure and intraocular pressure and um, but the intragastric pressure sometimes can be counteracted by the um, 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 increase itself at the gastric sphincter tone so that may not be so evident in terms of intraocular pressure that can be increased and particularly can be seen in children uh, and uh, intracranial pressure also, it's also increased. Um, some other effects could also be in terms of malignant hypertension. It's um, one of the triggers of malignant hypertension, but the only intravenous um, um, neuromuscular blocking agent that can trigger it. And um, other effects can be seen, talked about the hyperkalemia and cardiac arrest, um, bradycardia, and the masseter muscle spasms. So that can also affect the mouth and the jaw and causing some spasms. You mentioned malignant hyperthermia. Can you tell me another rare side effect of this drug? Um, of saxomethonium. So mm. uh, it could be a close um, differential, like the neuroleptic malignant syndrome, but mm. that, that's. Um, Can you tell me what you know average, about sax apnea? Um, Sorry, my signal's a bit bad. Can you tell me about sax apnea? So that's more genetically predisposed in some um, um, individuals. Um, and with that, um, when sox is given, um, because of the, the um, autosomal um, recessive and um, where it also transforms and starts acting like, like um, the um, um, non-depolarizers um, like a phase two or dual block and um, in that case um, it, it may not be necessarily deficiency it's a prevalent we could have um, lasting for minutes to hours and they could wake up or they may need to be nursed in intensive care and some testing need to be done to confirm that and then refer to appropriate terms. Do you know what did, okay, we're done actually, we've got three seconds left, so I won't ask you another thing. 
Well done. That's